What is going on guys, Assassin here with some more Grand Theft Auto 5 in today's episode we're actually going to be playing as Trevor and we're going to be doing the Nigel mission or Nigel Stranger Freaks mission thing um, so you guys hope you, I hope you guys look forward to that um, we're also going to try and do the what's I'm going to call it oh fuck, <laughs> blacked out Try and do the main mission, but I don't know. Out right now. That'll work. I don't know if we'll be able to. We'll try though. Okay, where is this cab? There it is. No, come back, come back! I'm gonna run off. Hey, my man, where are you going? Going to a crazy old man. <laughs> In all my days. <clears throat> Yeah, I got you that stuff. Oh, great. Where's your wife? Mrs. Thornhill, she's not <laughs> my wife. She's got a husband and two lovely kiddies at home. We met online. It's no nothing sexual. Where is she? Well, she's been trying to throw herself under celebs' wheels. <laughs> really? Well, she can throw herself under my wheels. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were funny, John. Yeah. I knew I would like you. C can I have a hug? The fuck? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've got a pr protruding hip. It's not a semi. Nigel! John! <coughs> you won't believe what's happened! What? Only Al Dinapoli walking. He actually walks! He walks walk among us. us! Well, then what are you freaks waiting for? Well, that's a long story. Of mistaken identity. And a lot of lies. Stalking is not what I would call it. Not me. I told the judge I thought it was unfair. Yes, anyone's trousers could have come undone at that point. Exactly. The Jolly fuck? bad luck. And we were such fans. If only we could talk to him. Yes, I know it was only his lawyers and agents. They ruin everything. If we could only get him somewhere private. You see, like that little lockup I know. No problemo. Look, there he is. Oh, shit. It's that crazy English bitch again. Nigel, he remembers me. To the chariot. Jock, you drive. Quick, he's getting away. Come on, Jock, get in. So bad for these celebrities. <laughs> he's taking a left turn down the high street, Jock. I'm going. Did you ever imagine we might get a private audience with Al Di Napoli? Only in my wildest dreams. All those nights spent role-playing yeah. in Mother's utility room. If only we'd known. I loved him in the Redeemer. Oh, Nigel, do your Al Di Napoli line. This is turban warfare, motherfucker. <laughs> it's uncanny. <laughs> oh, dear. Poor Jock must think we're better. Oh, don't be silly. Hmm. I hear that behind his charitable... Oh, I won't. Jock, do you see that lorry? What the fuck's a lorry? Have a little faith. Anyone would think this was my first kidnapping. What on earth will we feed the man? I hadn't even thought of that. He'd probably eat sushi or... Maybe I should have driven... Or quinoa. No, Is you that even know. how you say it? What if he wants meth? Don't get flustered. Oh, oh Jesus! He's going to the car park. The car park. No worries, mate. <laughs> oh, I hope he likes <laughs> us. Uh, Trevor. How could he not? This lockup you prepared sounds charming. Just be yourself, Mrs. Thornhill. Oh, a hernia. Oh, my giddy aunt! Everything okay there, Earl Crazy Cakes? My prostate has taken quite a beating. You have to lower the tone. 
glad to see you on the proper side of the road, dear boy. This must be second nature to you, Jock. All those stunts you used to do. And we saw you're up for governor of San Andreas. This level of derangement, I'm impressed. Little by little, I'm... Is he going through the hospital? Oh my lord! Hold on to your corsets! Excuse me. Sorry. The hire car! Uh, seems rude not to follow him through the window. Oh shit. Such a thrill! Ah, uh, would you like me to escort your guest of honor to the trunk? Well, if you don't mind. <coughs> oh, come here, you! Come on! Come on! Let me meet your biggest fan! <coughs> ah. <coughs> You're fucking crazy! Oh, it's Get off me! Uh, You're good to go. Ah, a true gentleman. This is so exciting. Nut jobs. I agree. Save. Mission pass. Okay. No 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 weapon what I need a ride to Floyd's apartment. Hey my man, where you going? La puerta. La puerta. Okay. Wait, Floyd, I'm home. What the f word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my g damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the f is that, Floyd? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? <coughs> Guy, come in. I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh yeah, some serious corporate gang banging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my uh, my penis. I want you hmm. to leave. <laughs> Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? And look, Deborah, I love you, and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd... Will you marry me? <laughs> the fuck? my condo! And you go too, Floyd! I told you! I've got a career! I don't need this! 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 Crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear! You crap, Floyd! Crap! <laughs> the fuck? I'm not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. <coughs> oh. Who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, <coughs> sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice. Jesus Christ, shit's going down. Uh Oh, hey there, hey. Trevor. <laughs> oh. 
pay their way. Yeah. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? <coughs> Let's go get in the car. All right. Let's go have the time of our lives. I don't want to know what happened up there, but I can. I know just the place. It's telling by Trevor. I can already tell it wasn't good. I could run in and get Floyd and Gebra. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have. She can have fun. Mm, no, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Trevor. Maybe you got all over yourself. You that was entirely your fault. You're all red. Oh, you it's just raspberry. Syrup? Yeah. Syrup. Accent. Strawberry, I mean. We've all been there. We sure have, but... They don't taste that syrup. Don't taste me, all right? The fuck yeah, don't fucking no. taste me, weirdo. No liquor. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in... Damn! You stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you driving out to the quarry and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now, Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone. Anyone except me. I think, uh, I think Trevor may have went on a little bit here of murdering spree. What do you think? Save cars by parking in the bays at the Isn't side of the strip club. Is going to meet us at strip club? Oh, yeah. <coughs> That guy like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Right here. Here? <laughs> here. Now, Damn, no, girl. Look at that. <laughs> we roll, homie. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. <laughs> gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. We're we gonna murder the manager as well. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Michael? Hey, back home. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. Hey, and our car's here. I've missed this car. Oh my god, we literally have dollar wheels on. Mission Pass Hang 10. Do we always have dollar wheels? Okay, I think we should be able to fit in one more. Let's, let's go to the vanilla. Hello. Oh Hi, shoot. Guy. What's up, bro? Look, I know you aren't still fixing computers for a living. When are you gonna throw some work my way? Hey, if you're right for a project, I'll be in touch, okay? Okay, but don't forget about me. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be using him as a high school member. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, we're arriving back at the Vanilla Unicorn. Do we have to go in the front? Yeah, great. Also, I love how our clothes are still dirty as hell. What's going on, man? I wish a motherfucker would run up on me for wearing a hoodie. I asked for your number, but they took my phone. Rip. We, I think we go through this door. Hey, before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, hey, I'm Franklin. Done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Merriweather, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? Had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. The big one! A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, <coughs> Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. <laughs> but always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one. The big one. The big one. <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that's the old manager. I don't think I was supposed to go up here. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I was. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas. Clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground that's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we got to stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Okay. Look, dog, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? 
Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, right. how are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, Trevor's taking a piss. Uh, well, uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. God damn it. You mentioned a uh, job before, something they could help you with. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Why do you talk to Mike about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, heading to the airfield. Just went 1330. We got two hours before we need to be in Murrieta Heights. Get in the helicopter. You're the one who keeps talking about the schedule, Lest. Come on. <laughs> anyway, if you want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them and once to get it done. You're going to find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction. I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect. <laughs> Come in, Michael. We have a visual on the convoy. Keep what the, the fuck? Did you guys see that blue car? <laughs> Kind of lost the convoy there. <sighs> Damn it. Come in, Michael. We have a visual on the convoy. Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We need to stay with them and find a place to ambush. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the john. Their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it uh, won't. 
Oh, shut up. What about here for the job? Where? Under one of the bridges. It's en route. We'll have plenty of cover. It's too open. There's a number of get-outs, and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. We could recover the cars. With the right equipment, we'd haul them up the side. A central station is monitoring the car's positions. If the GPS tracker reads it's down there in the channel, we'll have red flags all over the place. Fine! Again, you would think seeing a chopper flying in the air relatively close, they'd be what like, oh thinking? shit. I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time, and the same for short periods of time. <laughs> Expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that. I think, if I remember correctly, somewhere in there. Maybe not this way. I think it's back here. to the airfield. Okie dokie. So, uh, providing either of these ways into the bank works, the armored cars are the big hole in the ground, how are we gonna get the metal out? That's the 20% of $200 million question. If the armored cars are a viable option, we'll bring out the gold in them. Simple. You won't even have to fire a shot if everything goes to plan. When does everything go to plan? Hmm. Say that. 
<laughs> okay, let's land this chopper down here. to get them together or work them up, but I think there's a way. It's not impossible. All right. I'll start thinking about the breakout, too. Bradley Snyder, he's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Goodbye. Mission pass, surveying the score. And with that being said, I think that's going to be it for this episode. In the next episode, what I'm thinking about doing is doing this mission, Stranger Freaks mission, and going to that Michael mission. So I got, hope you guys look forward to that. Other than that, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Oh, wait. Yeah, hello. <sighs> the fuck? It's me. I shouldn't have called. But Patricia, Mrs. Madrazo. Hey. Are you behaving, Trevor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Patricia, I really miss you. Uh -huh. Very important. I have to go. <laughs> so sad. Anyway, I'm out. Peace.